said, family, if you had not been catching my shorts, first of all, happy new year. This is like my second video of the new year, but happy new year. Um, we went on vacation. Now we're back again. I'm going to do two haul videos today and put them up this week. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well, getting a start on your goals for this new year. Uh, if you make those kind of goals or whatever, some, to some people it's just another day. Um, I have been putting out my shorts on the laundry room transformation and here's my little list. This week is the home office, so I'm about to bail on this challenge because if once I show the short of my home office, I got to commit, of course. I don't have to paint in there. I painted in there this week. I mean, this last year. I did paint in an attempt to get it organized, and then it went straight back to being a dump it all room and my eBay sales room. And I actually do go in there to print stuff and print labels. And um, it's a mess. It's a mess. So I'm going to do shorts on that. I'm waiting on stuff for the laundry room. So I'm going to actually, um, once that stuff comes, do a full tour where you got that. Because I really, truly, technically did it for about $60. But... If you count the stuff I already had, I probably went around a little over 100. So I want to kind of, you know, take you on a full tour of how I organized the preps because I didn't get rid of my stuff. I did move some stuff around. Like, my den is a mess because, you know, what didn't go back in the laundry room is out here. I don't know what to do. Well, I need to find a different place to put my tools. So, and that will be garage week but i am gonna just stop and do a little place for that this week so it, it can get out of the den oh my gosh i feel like overwhelmed right now but i love the laundry room it's amazing okay <laughs> so i went shopping for the laundry room on thursday didn't i found what i was looking for but i had to order it but you know if i go out i'm gonna find other stuff <laughs> What a shame, what a shame. But I did find some good stuff. So I went to Habitat Restore. I didn't own 103rd if you're in Jacksonville. I did not know they sell pretty much brand new or scratch and dent appliances that were brand new somewhere. They had some amazing stuff. And on Thursday, it's 20% off. For Seniors Day, so Thursday's a good day to take grandma, mama, wherever to lunch. Then drag them to the Happy Jack store and save two or $300 on one appliance if you need it. They had the four-door Samsung with the screen. They had three-door refrigerators. I, and they were so much um, off of the price. Like, those are $3,500 refrigerators, but they were in there for two-something. $2,000 and something. So... If you do it, just make sure you got your home warranty. I, I, you know I'm big on that home warranty from First America. So I would I would do it all day long. And you do have to get it home yourself. So you could try truck taxi for a hundred and something dollars to deliver. Look, appliances is off the chain. None of them are built to last more than seven years. When you see my laundry room makeover, you gonna see that 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 washing dry was here when I moved here. Probably came with the house. It was probably from 2004 when the house was built, I think. So, um, as long as it's still getting them clothes clean, I ain't, I ain't on the big look thing. I, I cannot do it if I'm not going to be able to wash the clothes in it. The purpose is for it to wash your clothes, not to be a pretty piece of furniture. So, that is why, hold on to your appliances as long as you can. But if you need an appliance, check out Habitat Restore. And I do have some things for that from there, but let me get down to it. So I went to Dollar Tree. I did some shorts on that, and I showed you some book series they had that would go well in Easter baskets and uh, Valentine baskets or whatever you're doing for your kids. Um, so check out those shorts because I didn't buy all that stuff. I did not. I showed you where they had the garden stuff out now. I didn't buy all that stuff. I did not. 
So I first, like I say, went to, I went to like, oh, it could have been 10 stores. I went to my contractor surplus store. I went to my Costco BJ's resale store. I have a whole list of the salvage stores in Jacksonville, Florida, in my community tabs that I frequent or know about. And um, so I went to a few of them looking for certain things that I did not find for the laundry room. But I did find this and thought I was going to use it for the laundry room, which is this little hanger thing for the garden, which I do believe I have two of these already, but I do not remember them putting a the hook in the middle. So I say, let me just get one just in case. But when I do my garage, this will come in handy. So I did grab one of those. I grabbed post-it notes. These are some beautiful post-it notes. And it is Jot, and it's 11, 11 kinds. It has the little sticky tab ones. has a, a couple of full-size ones, small ones. So I thought these were real cute to have. Like I said, I did not buy much. And me going to the Dollar Tree and spending $11... Let you know I'm serious this year because I every Dollar Tree trip is normally twenty five to fifty dollars if I especially if I hadn't been in a time in, in a long time. So I bought this for cameraman and this book here. It's the last meeting of the Gorilla Club. Look like to be a pretty interesting, you know, team book. And I also bought this because I saw a few interesting recipes cooking for kids made simple. And it actually had biscuits. And I'm going to confess, I don't know how to make biscuits, but I'm going to learn this year. I do not know how to make them. But I thought this was pretty good. It had like chicken tenders wrapped in crescents. Not that one. Um... Orange glazed drumstick. You might not eat that. Um, it was something else. It was a few things that I saw that I thought he would like to make. So I said, let me go on and grab this. Or it may go to somebody else I know. I don't know. Once I copy the two, the two recipes I did see. But these are a go-to. Anytime I'm there, anytime I see them, I get them. They're individual packages of crackers. They are very, very tasty. And it is, what, like six packs in here? Four packs in each one. Four packs of crackers, individual. If you're taking them to lunch, um, olive oil and oregano, and garden vegetable. So... I like these. Grab them every time. I'm sure you've seen them before. <clears throat> Again, I only spend $11. Pretzel rods. These are my Dollar Tree go-tos. I actually have some. He's been asking me. Cameraman's been asking me to cover these in chocolate again. They taste very good. I picked up some 80 cent you know, cookies and cream chocolate at uh, Melting Chocolates at Michael's. Now that my microwave works, I can make the chocolate covered pretzels again for him. This is definitely a go-to staple. This one, not those other ones that were in there. This one tastes okay. So that was it for the dot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that was it for the Dollar Tree went pretty oh it was one more thing i bought a toilet brush because he said he has broken his bathroom so that was the other item then i went to habitat restore this is for the gardeners i was shocked they had cases of this they had this and some rose spray and something else and it was on sale for 99 cents this is a 24 ounce fruit and vegetable. Use this up to the day of harvest. And they done, they taken them down to 99 cents. So I bought two, three bottles of the fruit and vegetable insect and disease control. 
and might the insect disease and mite control spray. So I got those. That's all. Uh, I, I got a couple other things. Oh, I bought paint brushes because again, I've been painting. So when I use paint brushes, I'll buy some. So I always have them in the house. Because, again, if you give a mouse a cookie, there's no telling when I might want to do something that involves painting. So, I like to already have this stuff here. So, I don't have to go back out and get it and get distracted as I tend to do. So, I got some more paint brushes. So, after I bought that toilet brush, the Habitat had these for $2. So, I got a new one with the stand and we can toss the old one with the stand that broke on them because i believe that's what i had in there but if they last a year for two dollars it's about time it's been washing the toilet for a year so it needs to probably go in the trash and be replaced so that was that haul oh and this came from habitat so they had these for a buck they had stacks and stacks of them they look gently used, but what I'm going to do is put this by the door. It doesn't look as bad as me with a paper bag there all the time. It's overflowing because somebody don't take out the recycling without being told. But this is going to be the recycle bin for us. So then I spent, what, about $10 at... $8.66 at Habitat. So, probably one of these, if I was to try and buy them at the hardware store, now would be $6. So, we're going, um, that was that was worth the whole trip. $0.99. Cent. Then, I went to Dollar General. Dollar General is behind the time. They just dropped their Christmas down. This was on Thursday. So, probably Tuesday, it'll go 90%. But they had just, you know, dropped their Christmas down to 70% this week. And I'm like, y'all late. But the store I went to was fully stocked. They had so much stuff left. Even if you look on top of the aisles, they had stuff up there. So I said, let me go on and get some because I had I saw something I had been eyeing. And the last time I saw it before the cruise was 50% off. And I was like, no, I'm not paying $5. But I will pay 3 so I was eyeing this, and I got one. They have a large one and this size. This is the smaller one. And it was $10, so at 70% off, it was 3 bucks. And I like the bling on it. So I buy, okay, let me give you life advice. I love Christmas. I love to decorate for Christmas. I do not throw my decorations away every year. I do not change my theme every year. I do not pay full price for Christmas decor unless it's like one or two key pieces that I'm like, oh, this missing and needs something. But on the, no, I don't do it at all. So I went crazy. I probably spent about two to three hundred dollars this year on some updates. I'm gonna put up a fifth tree, and I had to buy the fifth tree and the stuff for it. So I that'll be my next haul. But I'm just going to show a little glimpse of what I got. My bedroom is a reindeer theme. So I got, I'm just going to show this haul because I did buy it this week and you can still find it. Uh, they had these. This is a reindeer. Pretty sturdy. And it was $3.60. I also got its friend. And these were the last two in the store. That's why I went and got them at 70% off. This was $3.60, so I'll put these together. Cute, cute, cute. And I'm finna pack all this up. That's why I say, let me get this all done so I can get the junk out my, uh, out my den and out the way. And I have my totes. And I'll try to link the Walmart haul when I caught those for $2.50 this year. So, um, buy stuff in anticipation of using it and that's my theme for this year i'm gonna use this stuff all of it i'll get rid of it because i'm tired of the clutter and when i got in my laundry room i did see i was like oh i forgot i bought this oh i did buy this for this time to use it so 
That's why the decor in the laundry room is on point. It was stuff I already bought over the year, over the last like year and a half from Target, Dollar Spot, places like that. Dollar General Clearance, that kind of stuff. So I got these two little signs. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. They were, yeah, stop. They were 30 cents a piece because they were a buck. So 30 cents, little piece of decor. Look at that receipt. So at that store, I spent $16 at the Dollar General. And then, seems like I, oh, oh, yeah, this is the best thing I bought. These, these are every day, but they're under the Christmas because the green, well, I don't think it's a green tag, but this is everyday stuff. I will put this out. I am going to put this out like now. <laughs> and they were, this was $7, so it was $2.60. $2.70, and it's a candle holder, but you can use it for anything. You can put some flowers in here if you wanted to. And this was $9, so it was, what, $3? $2.70. That is a cute grouping. It's cream and gold. This does not say Christmas. This says every day. So you better go look for it, because they might have forgot to put it with the Christmas. It's a good chance that you can find that this week. Um, so that was it, and I spent roughly $16 at Dollar General. And then I went to Burlington. This before they had all that start putting red tags on everything, but they had marked down the Christmas. Okay, I'm going to let that fire go out now. I'm burning up now that I'm sitting here. So... I found some great things at Burlington. A whole thing of teas. This is uh, eight different varieties. Let me see. One bag. 80 bags of tea. And they have like blackberry, black currant, black tea, strawberry, black tea, pomegranate, peach, mango, earl grey, cherry, and ginger black tea. Eight. If you were in the basket business or something, you could probably take these out into individual little boxes and put them in, in your little gifts you're making. Expiration date, 525. 2025. And how much did I spend? Oh, okay. They were $3.49. So, got that with somebody in mind. And then I saw this. So I am now drinking the keto creamer. And my son is like, um, Hoppo, who this woman? Because he asked me every other day, what's 10 plus 9? Just to make sure I ain't. He said, I'm making sure you're not having a stroke. What's going on, mama? You up doing stuff. <laughs> I am like. Because I was working on that laundry room. I was working on it. And he was like, I, this ain't you, mama. What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, I have been drinking the keto creamer that I caught on clearance earlier last year or probably the year before. It ain't expired, though. But I start adding that to my coffee. And it's for a mood, brain, all of that. So, I was like, Really? This might be the key to what's, you know, and I've been taking vitamins and I've been drinking that and I have been able to do stuff. Now, today I got a little lazy, but tomorrow I'm going to have to be on it because I'm telling you when you see this office, it's horrible. So I said, well, let me try the turmeric version. And this is turmeric keto, um, keto creamer. And I just add it to my regular almond milk creamer. It was $4.99. Now, I'll probably go back with stuff like Burlington and stuff like this at Burlington. You probably see it one time. And if you're not going there every week, you may never see it again. But 
healthy skin, joint, and memory. So apparently this stuff is giving me some energy. So I said, I'll continue to use it. So I bought that. And then... Some of these look like, it look like many of these balls are missing, but because it has black, gold, and white, I purchased these for next year's decor. And you'll see where I'm going with this as time goes on. Now, I did do a short that I'm, I'll try to link it um, above, but I did a short when Old Time was the first person, Old Time Pottery was the first ones this year to go 75% off. And I did a short when my friend was there and she got me this hat. Oh, this is a cute hat. This is a tree topper. But, oh gosh, I done caught my hair in it. But yeah, this is the cutest tree topper. I think I already did a haul with the tree skirt I got from Burlington. So this is going to look good next year. And then I bought a seven and a half foot pre-lit flocked tree that I'm going to put in another room. So I'll have five. This is tree number five. But yeah, um, that tree was 40, like $42. So it was not much at all. Oh my goodness. You could spend $42 on a box of these, not the whole tree, or two boxes of these. In fact, no, these was $10. So, regular, but they was $2.50. I don't know if I said that. But, the black, the khaki on the flock tree is going to look amazing. So, that is it for that haul because Walmart needs a whole video of its own. I am shamed. But, again, I got what I want. I got what I need, what I don't use. I'm going to de decorate early enough to where it goes on eBay. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I continue to try to do your best. Write your goals down daily. If you want to get something done, write it down step by step. I get the most accomplished that way. I say, hold on, I need to regroup. I need to pull it together. I got to get a lot done today. Let's start writing. I start writing it down, or I may even write it down the night before, and I start marking off the list. And that's how I get stuff done. If it's something simple as, I like in the laundry room, hang the pictures on the wall. Mop the floor, uh, scrape the paint off the floor. Um, I just start listing it just like that. So I can say, if I start sitting down, like what I'm going to do next, go pick something off the list. Or wait a minute, I got to leave in 30 minutes. What can I get done in 30 minutes? Go pick something off the list. That's how I've been moving. And I'm trying to keep it going this year. But this, today, I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. I've been binge watching Jenny and Georgia or Georgia and Jenny on Netflix. That show is so good. It's so good. It makes you think a lot, especially when you got teens to see how they thinking, even though I don't know if I want my teen watching it because it's verging on a little too risque for me and giving them ideas that they may not be thinking about, but parents watch it. Cause you will not be, you will be shocked. You may be shocked, you may not, but Jenny and Georgia is the bomb. So I was glad they came back with another season. That lady a psychopath killed them. <laughs> but, uh, but it does make you look at, at your teens in a different light. So thank you so much for watching this video. Prep and pray. I'm even prepping. Me buying Christmas decorations for next year is a part of prepping. Because uh, why? Who, who be out there paying full prices for that stuff? Look like nobody this year because it was so much stuff left at 75% off this year. I know people are over it. And if any retailers looking, it ain't no need for you to order all that stuff next year. 
because it's going to be sitting there to go 90% off and you may have to salvage it. Quit filling up our landfills and just go and order a decent amount and quit throwing Christmas up everywhere early, early, and it's still sitting there in January. Come on. But that's my take on it. And I'll wait till it goes on sale. And don't throw the stuff away if you're going to use it again and quit having a new theme every year. You ain't looking at it for eight weeks. So you, it could be the same thing eight weeks. Just switch it up. Put that ornament over there or put that, that deal tree in the front room instead of your room. That's, that's all you got to do if you want to change the scenery. So... I do thank you so much for watching this video once again. Let me close it out for real. It's time for real, for real, for real. Have a great day. Prep and pray and plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. Bye-bye.